Hello, welcome to Last Food and Barbecue. Today we're gonna smoke a Christmas ham Swedish style, but it's pre brined so I need to soak out a little bit of the salt. So I'm gonna put it in cold water for an hour and then I'll bring you back. There we go. So, since I'm gonna put it on the smoker, I don't want this mess to be on there. So, I'm just gonna put it on the water and then remove that. Uh, I will score the crackling just before I put it on. That's gonna come later. There we go. I'm gonna wash it off, then put some new water in here, and then let it just soak. See you in an hour. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my smoking cabinet. And of course, I need to light a fire. So I'm gonna start off by putting a few chunks of charcoal in the bottom, two lighter tumbleweed things, and then just because I forgot to buy it. I'm gonna be using lump instead of briquette. And then like every time else I've used this smoking cabinet, more or less, I'm gonna light it while in the cabinet. So I'll show you that. Okay, as you might know, I've got sand in the water pan in this. Uh, I always have that covered in foil. And then I'm gonna be using just actually a little bit of water in two aluminum foil pans. Uh, but I'm gonna add that water in a bit. So I'm gonna light this and let the grill come up to temp, uh, which will be fairly quick. I'm going to bring it up to somewhere between 225, 250, 120 Celsius or so. So I think that's going to be good. I'm going to leave it with the doors open, vents partially open on the sides and fully open on top. See you in a bit. So there we go. So we're going to take this out and we're going to score this just through the crack line with the skin. So, then we go the other direction. And then when thinking about what to season this with, I came up with the idea, or I figured that I was gonna use tango spice or cheddar rub. I think that would work really well for this. So, I'm just gonna season this, get a little bit in, in between here. Get some on the bottom as well. Nice. Okay, time to bring it out to the grill. There we go, we got a little bit of temp. So I've got two probes in here, my XR50. I'll put it on here. Something like so. Front part of the grill. I'm gonna get the probe in here. Just push it in from the side, go into the middle of the meat, and in we go. So we go. A little bit of fire down there in each corner. It's gonna burn nice and slow. I'll see you in uh, three or four hours. Okay, full disclosure here. So. Um, when we got back home after being away, uh, the grill had kind of lost temperature. So this had only gotten to about 60 degrees Celsius and I wanted it to be 65. Uh, so I just ran it in the oven for a bit. Now we're gonna put the mustard mayo on here. Just spread it on top. There we go. And then on this, we're gonna put the pork rinds or the substitute breadcrumbs. And then we're gonna put this back and full blast in the oven for about 15 minutes just to brown this up. So like my son pointed out, this Pig's got double skin. Okay, back in the oven. Meet you back in a little bit. And there we go. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna transfer it to a cutting board and cut into it. There we go. Christmas ham in Sweden. Let's cut into this. I guess this, this whatever, it's gonna fall off, but that's okay. Looks quite nice. 
I'm just gonna cut a slice and then gonna give it a taste. Okay, so I don't eat Christmas time normally on Christmas, but this is YouTube. Let's go. Hmm. It's got a really nice taste to it. The apple wood carries through. The spices carries through. Oh, it's really nice. I'm gonna enjoy this. Thank you for watching. Mm. Bye.